Hello, I'm Nancy Smith Maddox from Shine Your Light Radio Ministry, and I'm just so excited today. We're broadcasting on WYTV7 in Charlotte, North Carolina. My special guest is from East Brunswick, New Jersey, and I'm broadcasting from Little Rock, Arkansas. You're going to get a lot out of this today, and I'm so excited that you're joining us. If you haven't, if you're not able to join us, we will be broadcasting the show on YouTube and on Spreaker, so it's so exciting. Let me, without further ado, introduce our guest, uh, Anna Anana Pfeiffer Delholm. She is an author, a dynamic speaker, a business coach, a mentor, and an entrepreneur. She is one busy lady. So I'm really excited to have her on my show today and uh, just talk a little bit more about her testimony and what she's doing. Uh, she is an encourager. She will encourage you and mentor you and help you uh, move forward with your pro your drive and your purpose. So I'm real excited about that, Anna um, and Anna. Uh, so without further ado, can you kind of give us a little bit of background about yourself? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Nancy. I am so excited to be here with you today. And all the listeners, I thank you for the opportunity. So yes, I am a Jersey girl. <laughs> Jersey girl, so don't mind my accent. <laughs> If it comes out, but I'm excited because you know what? It's such an incredible time, incredible season for us to act, to do all that we are called to do. And I love that I'm here with Shine Your Light Radio TV. I love that because we all have our own light. We all have our own gifts, our own talents, and it is time to come out of hiding. It's time to shine your light so you can let the world see how awesome and how blessed you really are. So I love it. I'm excited to be here today. As you have already given a little bit of my introduction, I'm an author, a speaker, a business coach. So I tell you what, let's get started. I am ready. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're just such a, a breath of fresh air. I've met you in person at our Black Belt speakers training that we had. And uh, I'm so excited to have you on this show today. Again, WITV is a nonprofit, and any uh, one that watches our show and enjoys our shows, as well as the other broadcasters, uh, please make a donation if you get a chance. Five dollars goes a long way on promotion on social media. So thank you for that. Uh, I noticed that you um, are the CEO of your own 501c3 blessed girls so let's start with that tell me about blessed girls what it means and let's see if we can't um pump up your 501c3 too Anna. indeed 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 so i have to say blessed girl was finally birthed right you know so it's probably about two years when really god told me you know what it's time to do something do something different and give back and the real mission of it is to be that woman that I needed when I was 12 and 13 and, and you know experiencing a lot of those challenges of trying to figure out who you are right and where do you fit in in this thing called life and believe it or not I like to say that I didn't really realize that till I was well into my 30s right but if I could influence and help girls teenagers understand their purpose and understand their gifting and their talents and how they could be a blessing to others Oh, I'm on to something, right? If I can help them to save that time, right? To really embrace who they are and be that and shine their light, <laughs> right? Then we, we can really have an impact. I feel like a lot of times it's, it's easy to um, cri criticize, right? It's easy to say what's wrong with our, uh, you know, younger generation and to say, okay, you know, she's wearing that. Look at what she's doing, who she's dating, right? We can do that, but all you're doing is talking. Are you impacting? Are you making a difference? And truly, that's what Blessed Girl is about. Um, it's really about, you know, us having an impact and changing the next generation and at the same time, leaving a, leaving a legacy, right, for generations to come. And I tell you, it's Blessed Girls because uh, we all have blessings, right? We all have gifts. We all have a purpose. But a lot of times you don't know that because all you see is the obstacle. 
All you see is the hardships. All you see is maybe living in a low income area. All you see is maybe, you know, being with a single parent or all you see is what's going on in your school system, what's around you. But those obstacles, how we could turn those into really opportunities, right? And focus on the blessings that we have and really embrace the blessings. Oh, we could do some amazing things. So bless girl, will we really, we help blossoming women, girls turn into leaders and they begin to excel as successful stars. That's yes, ma'am, absolutely. And I don't have a doubt in my mind that it's <laughs> going to be successful. My prayer and uh, my gifts really is for me to let everyone shine their light. It's not about me, but I want this to go worldwide. WYTV already has international listeners that download our videos, download our speakers, and it's just so exciting. So my prayer is that you're your interview will be downloaded internationally and that, you, that people will start to realize what you're really about, what Blessed Girls is really about. Yes. And we also have a whole lot of other broadcasters on WYTV that will be promoting us too, which is, it really does take a village. It means that we all have to promote each other and we all have to help because we all have something common in common with us. We all want to help people. We want people to be the very best they can be. And there's no other way to do it than collaboration between Christians. So I'm just so excited about that. And uh, I know that, that if it can happen, you can make it happen. So I'm very excited. Uh, now I'd like to talk to you about something else that's near and dear to your heart. Uh, it is your new book that's just been released. Live Your Best Life, Answer the Call. I have read the book. I have the book. You autographed it for me graciously. So I'm so excited about that. So let's talk a little bit about the Live Your Best Life, Answer the Call, and what you hope that brings to you and how that can help everyone. Indeed, man. Oh, man. Live your best life. That alone, right? That, that, just that title. And the subtitle, Answer the Call. I have to say, when my coach mentor, Dr. Ruben West, when he said, you know, I was interested in co-authoring the book, but when he said, Answer the Call... <laughs> And that was exactly where I was in my life, where, you know what, it's time to answer the call and move forth. I was so excited. I probably was just jumping up and down when I heard what the title was because it was so fitting, you know, because we all have a calling. We all have a purpose. And a lot of times we go through life not fulfilling that purpose. <laughs> We're just doing whatever the wind blows, what have you, until we look up and time has passed and we really haven't answered the call. We really haven't walked in our calling, walked in our gifting. And this book, oh my goodness, all the amazing authors that are in this book and their stories of triumph, their stories of faith, their stories of, oh my goodness, of really, again, being an overcomer and hearing the voice, hearing the calling, trusting the calling, and moving forward in the calling that God has on your life is tremendous. And it, it applies to everyone, right? Everyone who is born, you were born to win. You were born with an assignment, and it is your responsibility. You are responsible, and I, you know, you don't get that. Like, really? No, it's your responsibility to act on your calling and to fulfill the calling that is on your life. So, I tell you, this book is incredible because it helps you to understand the calling, to hear the calling, right? To yield to the calling and to go ahead and be all that you can be and live your best life. And the thing is, it's not always about you because as you live your best life, you are being an inspiration, you are encouraging others to. To do the same. So come on now, live your best life, answer the call. And while you do that, you are inspiring others to do the same. And that's incredible because it's not about you. <laughs> it's about those that you are inspiring, someone that you are helping, those that are even watching us today that are listening, the fact that they can be encouraged and inspired to answer the call that you have placed on your life. Move forward, dig deep. A lot of times life, you know, tries to drown out the call 
calling, right? Drown out the voice, <laughs> right? That you are hearing the calling that's in your heart, in your spirit, but you have to be bold, right? You have to be courageous and answer the call and move forward. I tell you, there's this one quote that I truly love, and I think that speaks really to where I was at the time. It's like, the tragedy of life is not death. But what you let die inside of you while you let live. While you yet live. What are, what are you letting die and be dormant while you hear you wake up every day with fresh breath and it's time to move forward, answer the call, and become the answer and the blessing to someone else. Man. Wow. Man. Oh, wow, sister. I'm just, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed and so excited. Um, uh, Dr. Ruben West is uh, both of our mentors, very exciting. Uh, he brings out the best in everyone that he ever deals with. Mm -hmm. I've been profoundly affected by everything that he's uh, mentored me on. Um, on the Live Your Best Life Answer, the call, can you kind of give us a little bit of hint about where you were and what brought you to where you are now? Indeed, indeed. Now, I have to say, I mean, there's so many pieces to the story, right? So just a little things about the book um, and what we talk about it in the book is really choosing faith over fear, right? So fear <laughs> can grip you. Fear can have that impact, but you have to choose faith. And I tell you what, I want to say a little over a year ago, I walked away from my job right? And I like to say job, J-O-B, that was keeping me at just over broke. Hmm. And I say not just over broke financially, but just over broke spiritually, emotionally, physically, not the way that God had ordained me to live, right? Now, again, it was a good job, right? J-O-B, don't forget, just over broke, right? Making six figures, had the corner office, but I was still broken. I was still not fulfilling my purpose, right? And I had to step out on faith and say, listen, I know what I'm called to do. I hear the call that God has placed on my life. I see the assignment and I cannot fulfill it if I stay here in my comfort zone. Hmm. I had to get uncomfortable. So I tell you, it's ironic that I'm even here with you today because it was just over a year. It was June 24th was my last day. Oh my goodness, that Friday, I'll never forget, right? But it was a process where I had to answer the call and move forward and be all that God had called me to be. So again, I had to choose faith over fear. And because, you know, I was comfortable getting that check every two weeks, <laughs> understanding where my benefits were coming, knowing where I was going every day, right? But I tell you, once I answered the call, therein blossom, blessed girl. Therein, here we are with Live Your Best Life and writing the book, how my business began to blossom. And I have partners, business partners all over the US, Canada, Virgin Islands. I was just in Canada 48 hours ago. So when you answer the call, and what Martin Luther, Dr. Martin Luther King said, listen, faith is taking the first step without seeing the whole staircase. So when I just made that first step, how God began to, it, to move and orchestrate and put things in position, oh my good position, <laughs> to move forward and live my best life. So I gotta say the biggest thing is faith over fear. Well, you are such a beautiful, beautiful, shining example. You're going to motivate and help so many people with your story. And I'm so excited. Again, if you just joined us in the audience, uh, we are interviewing a super special, special person today. Uh, just a real live wire uh, who has conquered uh Faith over fear it makes me very excited. We're on WYTV7 out of Charlotte. I'm broadcasting from Little Rock on Shine Your Light Radio Ministry. And our guest is very special, is Anana Pfeiffer Daryl Holm. So anyway, without further ado, let's go a little bit further. I'm just so excited. I, I feel like 30 minutes is not enough with you, but it has to be. So, uh, and once again, let me say, uh, give a little plug for WYTV7. They are a nonprofit. So anything that anyone can give to help sponsor and keep going with the show, $5 means a lot to all of us. It helps us with social media advertising, which is what really we're trying to do. We're trying to shine everyone's light on my ministry and let them become 
them well known and help them. Um, I'm just so excited about Live Your Best Life. And a, and a quote from Dr. West that I talk about all the time is big faith equals big dreams. And that means if you're dreaming at all, the big faith you have is going to make you through it. And that's exactly what you're talking about with faith over fear. We all times all fear the unknown, but you know what? You just have to take a leap of faith sometime. And a lot of times God nags you until you do. <laughs> so that's what I found, you know, did I know how to do a radio show six months ago? Absolutely not. Was I afraid of it? Absolutely. I was fearful, but you know what? I'm like, I can do this. I have a lot of experience. I have a lot of beautiful people that I want to interview and let them shine their light. So I'm doing that too, basically. And uh, it's all about uh, faith over fear. Um, but anyway, I want you to talk a little bit more about your other business, Tracy Lynn. I see you have on a beautiful necklace. And this is really becoming awesome uh, with Tracy Lynn. Everything I see is just really, really nice and awesome. And it's affordable. And it's beautiful. And I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, my grandmother, my grandmother, who's now passed on, uh, when she passed on, she had drawers and drawers and drawers full of costume jewelry. She was a very tall woman, a very big woman, and she wore bold, high heels every day of her life, the higher the better. Mm -hmm. And she also wore costume jewelry. Well, when she passed on, I got to inherit, I got to go through all her drawers of costume jewelry, and I got all of it. I got everything I wanted, the bigger, the bolder. And that was in the days before it got popular again. Right, right, so I've right. been through three cycles of bold and brassy costume jewelry, which makes me really happy. It was with my grandmother that I remember when I was a little girl. Then when I was like in my forties, I started getting all of hers and wearing all of hers. And now we've gone full circle to where your business is another part of that. So tell us a little bit about that and how you came into that and how that's happening because it's just so popular now. Yes. Well, you know what? You talking about the big, the bold, the beautiful, right? We know that, right? So Tracy Lynn Jewelry, again, you know what? It, it's so much more than jewelry. Let's, let's just be clear, right? So I don't know, you know, those who are familiar with Dr. Tracy Lynn, I mean, incredible. That's our CEO and founder, right? So incredible woman of God. I just have to say that it is so much more than jewelry. So, I mean, an evangelist, an author, uh, obviously a business owner, which I had no idea, right, when I got involved. So we're talking about now maybe about five and a half years ago, right? I was still working my job in healthcare administration, but I was looking for something, right? Now, at the time, my son was going, my oldest son was going into his senior year in high school. Now, remember, I still had that job that kept me just over broke, right? <laughs> I still had that job, but he was going to, I know I was preparing for him to go into college. And I was really praying, God, what am I going to do? You know, because honestly, I'm still paying student loans, still <laughs> in my 40s. And I still have after years of going to school and college, and I did not want that for my son. So my prayer was, Lord, what can I do? to be able to really afford his college tuition and he him not have that debt once he graduated so i tell you what i was looking and you know many of us are looking for opportunities praying to god what should i do because i didn't i wanted to be independent i didn't want someone um what's the word like telling me when to work what hours to work <laughs> right when to get there when to leave doing things i didn't want to do working every weekend what have you working nights i didn't want that so i was looking for an opportunity and there i was giving the uh the catalog tracy lynn jewelry and i looked at it i said wait a minute the catalog is fabulous the prices are amazing so i said if i can afford it and i love to look good right <laughs> and i can help others do the same thing, and I knew that my friends and my family could afford this jewelry, then you know what? This is something. I'm onto something here. So I got started. Here it is five years later. My son has graduated with his bachelor's degree. He, I have been able to pay his college tuition to be a blessing to him and to myself, of course, right? And since then, the development the divine connections, how my business has blossomed and how really God has been a blessing to me through the business has been incredible. So listen, all I do is wear the jewelry. 
<laughs> and I help empower others by looking good, feeling good, raising their self-esteem at the same time, giving them the financial freedom, that independence that is so empowering where you could just make extra $200, $300, $500 a month by selling jewelry. Wow. <laughs> right? How impactful and incredible is that? So I tell you, that's Tracy Lynn. That's all a part of who Anana is. Um, a part of my mission is to really give back and to see, again, people live their best life, right? And that's what we do when we connect and really do some amazing things. And it's, again, you put on the jewelry, that's one thing. But how you feel <laughs> when you put on the jewelry and you see how women transform, you know, by, by just having on accessories. And I like to say, you know, again, it's all what God does and how he moves and makes things happen for us. And Tracy Lynn Jewelry is incredible. Really, really has been an incredible journey for me thus far. I can't wait to see what the next five years are going to be like. <laughs> well, you, bet, you better put on your running shoes because you're hitting the road running, my friend. It's just so exciting. Um, um, I just love that about divine divine connections i say that all the time yeah. i don't think anything is a chance for people that cross my path i don't think it's a coincidence i think god puts everybody in everybody's paths at exactly the right time when we all need it exactly. so i'm really really uh i really um really in sync with you and i really love i appreciate you so much for sharing some time with me today there is one other comment that i would like to make um shine your light uh ministry uh has a prison a prison um, prison program, a prison publishing program. Wow. And what we do is we go into prisons and we teach the incarcerated how to write their books. Mm -hmm. And we actually publish their books for very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. uh, we get grants to pay for that. And what what uh, and then when they go through the reentry program and they're ready to get out of prison, they have some source of an income that makes them, but think about how it uh, really does escalate their self-confidence, being a published author and all of that. So I'm real excited about that too. I wanted to mention that because within your, uh, when I was reading about you, you said that as a young, as a teenager, you worked in a prison ministry at your church. Can you share a little bit about what you did with that? Because I'm still, it's very close to my heart to help the incarcerated. I mean, there's just so many, and there's so many beautiful stories of restoration and God's love within the incarcerated that I really want them to be able to share their stories. And that's why we want to help publish their books. Can I share a little bit about your, your work in the prison ministry? I know it may have been a few years ago though. No, no, no. Listen, so Nancy, this, that is incredible. I mean, and I'm just so, again, we talk about divine connections, right? To hear that about you. So I just want to thank God for you. <laughs> thank God for your vision, really, and just even, you know, continue to speak life and blessings and abundance to you for your vision and for you answering the call. Man, I'm, I'm excited about that. So love you for that. I just had to take a minute and tell you that. <laughs> um, but I tell you, so yes, I, as a teen, my mom was uh, 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 she's a she's a reverend and she would go into the prisons and it was interesting because I remember as a teenager my mom a lot of times she wasn't there say if I, I was in a choir at school right I was in the band she wasn't there right because she was serving and I remember even being so young that I was like really you can't come to my concert but you're going into the prisons and talk to people right i remember that so my mom was really is, is a big inspiration and she uh, over 20 years in prison ministry right so that's the one thing so love you mom but <laughs> the part about that is so being connected with her and that was her her you know her focus at the time we had to give back right so i remember for the holidays having christmas parties collecting gifts that's how i learned to even wrap presents because we would get these donations right and we we had to wrap the gifts and you know the different age groups and have these family celebrations and wow right so i always knew that piece of it because that was what my mom did so as a 12 year old and a 13 year old my mother every sunday was at the county jail monthly she went to the women's prison so i just watched her do that and then as these women came out right and they transitioned in a lot of times she would open my home our home, her home, really, to them. So I remember meeting these women and, and how much, you know, a blessing that my mom was to them and being a blessing to them and connection with their family. Incredible. But I tell you one thing else when you talk about full circle. So at, I personally have been affected by prison ministry, if you would. So my ex-husband, 
was actually incarcerated. When my son, who is now a college graduate working at a Forbes top 100 company, because God is good and he is faithful, his dad was actually incarcerated. And there in lies, so I wonder, he maybe about two and a half years or so, well, I was then a recipient of prison ministry. I remember for the holidays getting the different baskets, right? And people sending him books and the sponsorships from prison ministry when I was a single mom trying to do the best that I can, but he had gotten us signed up or connected through prison ministry. So I've seen both sides of it and I will always in any way that I can help you or support you. I totally see the value and want to be a blessing however I can when it comes to prison ministry. So absolutely, you got it. Well, I really thank you for that. It's just, it's amazing to me, uh, again, how God places people in people's paths. You just never know who you're speaking to or who you're talking to or, or, or just an acquaintance that just you're just so tied in together. I thank you for sharing that about the prison ministry, and I thank you uh, for, for uh, putting a blessing on me and my program. I thank you so much. Um, uh, we're probably just about out of time. So what I want to do now is I want to you, for you to share your contact information with us. Absolutely. But let me just give one more blast about for the audience that just came on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're broadcasting um, We're broadcasting from WYTV7 in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm Nancy Smith Maddox with Shine Your Light Radio Ministry. And my awesome guest is Miss Anna. Pfeiffer, uh, Pfeiffer Daryl Holm. I'm sorry, I'm just butchering your name. I apologize so much. But uh, but once they listen to this and see you, your name won't matter because it's just so awesome, everything you're sharing with us and all of this wonderful wisdom you're sharing. And um, so anyway, share with us your contact information that you want to share so people will know how to reach you. And if you have a copy of the book, can you hold it up? Of course, of course. Okay. I can. You love that, right? <laughs> So, so listen, so we have, so Blessed Girls has a website, and of course it's Blessed Girls, so B-L-E-S-S-E-D-G-I-R-L-S dot -S -S com, that's our website, and you can email me at info, I-N-F-O, at blessedgirls.com, so that's a great way to, to connect with us. My phone number is, uh, to make sure I had this one right, 732, because you know you don't really know numbers nowadays, 732-698-8. <laughs> three one one okay so that's a phone number that you can reach me at um and then you can connect with me for tracy lynn i'll tell you what so here is the book live your best life i would so love to get you a copy a signed autograph copy of live your best life and you can request that again write at info at blessgirls.com i tell you what please connect with me through facebook what have you instagram you would like to receive a catalog tracy lynn you want to learn more about the jewelry about the business opportunity opportunity, you can reach me again at 732-698-8311. So I am looking for all that I know I'm expecting. I am expecting great things. 2017, it is a season, a season for us to stand up, be bold, be courageous, and be all that God has really called us to be. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, here's the thing I do. I, I love to give gifts. I'm going to tell you that right now. So now I'm going to do, what am I going to do? My first five folks that email me at info at blessedgirls.com. I do have a Blessed Girls cinch bag. Ooh, I'm blocking my stuff. I don't know if you can see it, right? So I'm going to give away five of these today. So the first, or today, yeah, today. <laughs> so the first folks that will email me at info at blessedgirls.com will receive this incredible bag. And I just want to stay connected. Again, divine connections is so, so key. So bless girls, Tracy Lynn, live your best life. You can take your pick or you can have all three. Come on, <laughs> let's connect. Well, thank you so, so much. And um, we're running, we're out of time, but I thank you again for sharing your time with me. And thank you for giving us so many blessings and helping everyone that's listening. And the last thing I have to, would like to do is ask that everyone that watches this video, I'll be sharing it 
Anina will be sharing it. Everyone will be sharing it. And I ask that everyone share it in every group they have so we can pass the word. Number one, about shining your light. And number two, about this fantastic blessed girls and live your best life and everything you do, this fantastic person that I've interviewed today. And again, I thank you so much. There's many, many ways, um, you know, that we can share. We'll have an audio of the interview as well as a YouTube video of the interview. So when, once we start posting and sharing it, you'll be able to really, I hope that all of our friends and our families will share it too so it can reach a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I thank you again so much, Miss um, Ann and I, and I just, I'm just so excited. Thank you so much. Good stuff, take care, thank you. Shine, shine, shine your light. Shine, shine, shine.